and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leslie Jade and I post videos over here at least a few times a week. Although it's currently for October, so we have back-to-back -back uploads. So today I wanted to do a look with a gorgeous palette I picked up a couple of months ago. And I already have done a video on my channel on this palette. But I've been playing around with this palette so much lately that I just wanted to try out some new looks. And I thought it'd be fun to film another video. And I've had the palette for a little while. I've tried out the colours. I've done a few different colour combinations. So this one's less of a first impressions. It's just more of a look using the palette. So I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get started. So the palette we're going to be using today is the XXMV from Revolution and it is beautiful. The holographic design on this and the packaging is just unreal. And then the actual palette itself looks like this. So I'm not going to go through and do swatches and do all that and go through and talk about the palette too much because I've already done a video on this palette like I said. So if you do want to see that, that's more of an unboxing, a first impressions kind of video. So if you do want to see that, then that is on my channel and I'll try to remember to leave it in the description box down below. But today I want to do a very green look with this palette because I feel like when I bought this, I didn't make the most of the greens and all the different colours in it. So I thought, you know what, today we'll just sit down, experiment, have a bit of a play and see what we can come up with. So I've got my little pot of different brushes and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a base. So I'm going in with my P. Louise base in the shade 2 on my eyes and I'm just squeezing out a bit of this onto each eye. I'm quite sad because this is now starting to run out so I'm going to have to buy some more soon but this has lasted me a while. So I'm just spreading this out with a brush but it has lasted me a while. I think I got it for last christmas so it's probably lasted me about a year nearly then because it's october now and then i'm using a beauty blender just to blend all that in and make it a bit smoother and i'm going to do the same thing on my other eye and like i said i want to do greens so i think i'm going to start off with this really really nice green here it's quite a subtle green it's not quite a pastel because this is more of a pastel green but it's not as vibrant as some others so i'm gonna start off with this brush here this is the 301 by real techniques and i'm just patting into that shade i'm trying to get quite a lot of product on my brush here and i'm just going to apply that on my lid it is quite a pretty color but it's not as pigmented as some of the others in the palette are but that is understandable because it is more of a pastel shade and it's a lighter shade. So it's less likely to show up as well. But I'm just blending this in. So I've gone in with that green. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit more of that. And just try and cover my lid with that completely. Just neatly applying that on there. So now I've got this really, really nice light green kind of base. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into this darker green here. None of these shades have names, which is my only kind of criticism maybe about the palette is that they don't have names. It's like it's harder when I'm doing videos but to say this shade here because I can't say the name of the shade. Um, but other than that, it don't really affect the actual quality of the makeup. It's just one of those things for a YouTuber to be able to say what shade they're using. So I'm just blending the other shade of green there. It's like an apple green maybe. And then through my corner as well. It's just to add a little bit more of the green colour and a bit more depth to the look. So I'm just blending that through my crease. So that green is kind of starting to build up a bit more there. I'm going to do the same thing on my other lid. I really like the... Um, the type of colour of this green. I feel like it's really nice and it stands out a bit but a lot of greens I had problems with because I end up trying to blend them in but they just end up looking like mucky greens and I don't really get that many greens that are actually quite bright and quite nice. Like, like a grassy green maybe. It's really pretty. So I'm going to take this one here which is a bit of a dark green. I think it's the darkest green in the palette and I'm going to grab a different brush one that's slightly smaller than the last one we used. So I'm going to go in with this one here which is the E18 from Morph. And I'm just going to pack some of that onto my brush. Not too much, just enough so you can actually see the colour. And then I'm just going to apply some of that into my outer corner there. And then I'm just going to do that again and just build it up a little bit. So 
so that is all that's looking like I'm going to do the same thing on my other lid I'm literally just packing that on into our corner so this is now how it is looking and I really like these colours together they're actually blending really really nicely together so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that original shade of green the really light one and I'm just going to wash that over the top of my crease just to kind of bring that one back in and blend them together a little bit better so I'm just going to do the same thing on that side there these are really really pigmented greens like you can actually see the green in them if that makes sense they're just so bright and really nice so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this shade here which is quite a lime green like it's a it's quite a yellow green and I'm going to take again another fresh brush which is this one here this is the revolution pro 150 brush i'm just grabbing that light shade and i'm just buffing that over where the product finishes here with the green i'm using this as basically a transition shade and i think it just adds a little bit more of something to the look because it's kind of using that yellowy green shade to blend the others out with which i really really like it's really pretty it doesn't show up as well on camera which is quite frustrating a lot of shades that i use for transition shades just don't show up on camera which is so so frustrating um but yeah i'm blending this in and then i'm gonna go over with the darker shade again i think so i'm gonna grab that brush that i used before to pack it in with and i'm literally just grabbing a load of that and just packing that into the outer corner again i would rather do this process 10 times in a row than end up putting too much product on or not put the product in the right place and then having to restart the whole look so i feel like it's always easier to start with less and build up so this is now how the eyes are currently looking like and i'm going to go over with my p louise base i'm using the shade zero today which is the bright white one and i'm going to get a small amount of this onto the back of my hand really like the green i never ever wear greens but I'm really, really liking this today. Uh, so I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is a Soul Beauty F05 brush, which is a concealer brush. And I'm just going to start to apply this right into my inner corner and then right up to where we've started that outer corner green there. So I'm going to try to get this as neat as possible. But again, so I'm just applying this from my inner corner here all the way up to where that dark green the outer corner sits i'm gonna try to get it as neat as possible i do apologize for the lighting as well in this video i've had to apologize in like every single video for the lighting because it's just a bit of a nightmare when i'm sat here because i'm mainly relying on the sun um so it's quite difficult because i can't really predict when the sun's going to go behind the cloud and such so i've been filming with that so i do apologize but i'm just tapping that on and i think it's actually gone quite well so that is what it is looking like and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use a shimmer so i'm just going to swatch a few now just kind of decide which shimmers i want to use because i've not actually decided which one i want to use yet i kind of want to use a darker shimmer for that old corner so i kind of want to use that one because it's quite a nice dark tealy one but then i'm really really drawn to that one there in the middle that's a really really high pigmented and it's like extremely creamy if i do it on the back of my hand oh it's beautiful so that's what that looks like on the back of my hand which is beautiful there's so many shimmers in this palette to choose from so i'm gonna have a swatch at a few more so there's this really really gorgeous gold here which i'll swatch that next to the green so that's not as pigmented as the green and it's got more of a crumbly so i've applied that next to the green you cannot see that anywhere near as well it's nowhere near as pigmented and it's got a really really crumbly texture compared still a gorgeous color but compared to the green it's nowhere near as nice uh this is so strange how you can get so many different shades from the exact same palette being so differently pigmented so i've gone in with a different green which is like quite a neon green there and swatched that that's beautiful again it's just not got that shimmer that that one's got so i'm gonna go in with a light one because i feel like nothing is beating that right now so i'm gonna grab one of my brushes i'm gonna go in with this one and i'm tapping in to that green and i'm just gonna start to apply this oh that is absolutely beautiful and i'm just applying this onto my lid there i'm not sure how well you can see this on camera 
but that is absolutely gorgeous i am completely obsessed with that green like i said i don't use greens and i don't know why because it's not like they're really horrible to blend like that has blended really nicely and the shades and the shimmers are just beautiful so i'm going to do the exact same thing on my other lid it is a little bit crumbly when i'm using it with a brush but nothing's perfect so it'll be absolutely fine there's a tiny bit of fallout but i think that is my fault for picking up too much product when i went in then other than that i haven't had any fallout up until then so i do think that was my fault so i'm just blending this in the best that i can and i'm sorry but the actual shimmer in that is stunning i hate the lighting right now it's really really winding me up but the shimmer in that and the just look of that is absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to grab a brush quickly and just get rid of any of that fallout there So this is currently how it's looking and I'm obsessed so I'm going to go in with the second shade we use which is that nice apple green and I'm just applying that on my lower lash line there. Just a nice bit of something extra just kind of complete the look a bit. And now I'm going to go in with those shades again that we used earlier on and I'm just going to try and bring those back in to make sure we haven't lost any of those colours. So I'm going in with that nice pale green, which is the first colour we used. And I'm just really gently placing that and tickling that in my inner corner. And through the start of my crease. And I'm doing the same thing, but on my other lid. So I'm just gently placing that in there and just tickling that up and kind of blending that up. So just like that there. And then we're going to go in with the second shade of green, which is the slightly dark one, which is the kind of like apple green. And I'm just placing that on the middle. This is just going to help bring out those colours even more, brighten them up even more, and just make it more of a stronger contrast between the different shades. So that is how it's coming along. The next step is going to be to go in with that dark green. So I'm just going to use the same brush again and I'm just tapping into that dark green. It looks a lot darker in the palette than it does on your eyes if I'm honest. But it's absolutely gorgeous so you cannot fault it. And I'm literally just packing that into my corner. I'm not even blending it. I'm just packing it in. So this is now how the look is looking and I'm not going to lie that really really came together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my mascara just to finish this look off. So the mascara I'm using today is the Olivia Hale mascara. This one is so cheap but it is so good. This is I think like 99p from Home Bargains. It's actually really really good. I got it like... I think I discovered it like eight months ago, something like that. So I discovered it a little while ago now, but I really, really like it. It doesn't seem to have dried up at all as well in that time. But it gives a lot of volume and a lot of length to your lashes. Um, you only need a tiny bit of product. It's got a really funky kind of wand, especially on the end there. But I really, really like it. And it's always done the job for me. It does really well, especially my lower lashes. I feel like it's really, really gentle, so I don't end up getting product on my skin but it still actually does a job and covers all my lashes so i'm just gently finishing my mascara off and that is now the final look so i've got my mascara on my eyes are fully done and honestly i'm really happy with this look it turned out a lot nicer than i thought it was going to turn out i just love playing with new colors things that i don't play with usually and this palette is genuinely just unreal it's absolutely beautiful so if you haven't picked this up yet then make sure you do i think it's 15 pounds i could be wrong but i think these are 15 pounds each and they have other colors as well so they've got the green base one so I've got this one, which is the green base one which has green skulls and purples they've got other ones like they've got the purple ones We've got other ones, like I think we've got the kombucha one, which is the orange one, which is the orange one. So I might actually try that one out as well. But I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I definitely have. If you have, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a lovely, lovely little comment down below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.